Greetings, YouTubers! <laughs> Another day, I'm at my parents' place in Southbury, Connecticut, and uh, just having some raw venison with some raw organic onions. And then raw, I just put some onions on. Well, because I'm a diabetic, so I gotta watch. And raw cucumber organic pickled. Pickle, cuke. Gotta ingest this stuff. Yeah, I ain't posting nothing with any calisthenics or anything because, or exercise. Well, I'll do some maybe running. Just, uh, I, uh, it's because my shoulder's messed up, my, my left shoulder. I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. Maybe gotta get x rays. I don't want to be whining about that. But on the good side, yeah, the venison's good too. I got it from a gift from my uncle. I put the raw onions in. Because I like onions. But, you feel a lot better, your stomach, I never have an issue when I eat raw foods, raw meat, milk, fish, eggs, milk, Yeah, the thing with game meat, is when it's given to you, you got to have it written up according to the state laws and regulations, and it's important to do it that way, so the wardens understand you're abiding by the rules and regulations of your state. And you could have a friend give you some, you know, if you want to try it and see how you feel. I'll tell you something interesting. If you're in a weight training, I don't do that no more. It's not my thing. I'd rather do combat stuff or uh, things where it, where it entails like long distance uh, running or, well, I got to get my shoulder fixed. I was going to do swimming. But I don't like the chlorine. I'd rather go like in the ocean or something as far as fitness and then bicycling. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing how you feel though. And well, if you want to do the weights, if you have a competition, you ought to eat raw meat or raw milk. I mean, raw fish or raw meat before the event. And I'll guarantee you, you'll be able to do at least 10 pounds more. I'm not, it, see, because I've done this. This is my own anecdotal. Well, can't say really evidence, but from my own observations. Um, eating, ingesting raw stuff. And if you're a weight trainer, I'd highly recommend eating your, your meal whatever, three hours, whatever, beforehand, before the event takes place. And just post what you think. Um, what your results are, because I ain't bullshitting. <laughs> a lot of these videos, I'm actually too serious. I'm actually really funny, got a lot of sense of humor. I'll be putting some videos up about that. <laughs> But uh, I'd recommend trying it, man. You be, you know, if you've got a record, you wanna, you're a power lifter, whatever, strong man. If I was you, I'd have raw meat, raw fish, 
every time I did this, okay, when I wasn't having to cook, I never, I, I compare it with the cook meals before my, my own workouts. And I always wrote down my stuff of what I lifted at, when I was lifting. I lifted weights from uh, uh, 14 to 32 years old. And then I didn't, I watched the UFC event and I got convinced I'd rather do like combat and stuff like that or just feel uh, more of my heart, my heart's getting built from doing a cardiovascular and uh, the wrestling type of uh, training. So I felt way to hell better that way. But I'm not saying, you know, it's not the thing to do. But if you're looking to do better with your lifting, I, I, you should try it. it. It worked right away. It did to me. But I'm just one guy. And, and if it works, post it on my thing, on my video here. Because I'll guarantee it, it's going to make a difference. If you got a lifting event, strongman, whatever, try raw. Raw fish, raw meat. You should actually only have that. No cook anything in that meal at all. All raw. Okay? You try that and you let me know how it works out for you. These pieces are too big. Now, I think this raw meat has no flavor. I mean, it goes, you go by how you feel. That's it. But, um,. Yeah. Watch a guy shoving raw food down his gizzard. <laughs> hmm. I guess it's crazy how uh, people could be, you know, terrified eating raw. But think back when we had we just you know way back before thousands of years before all the modernization, <clears throat> we didn't eat every day. That's another thing. I got to put a video up. Um, how often should you eat? I mean, each day. I mean, that's kind of a little absurd. We're not um, efficient hunters all the time. We're not in no tribe. Everybody's segregated. It's not normal, man. I'm not losing my mind when you got time to think. Think about it. I mean, no offense to the, you're in the city. That's a way different lifestyle. Everything's there. And then compared to a rural area, suburban area, how you eat, what you eat, how you're brought up. I mean, we don't need meals every day. Since when? I guarantee you, and it's more healthier that way. It's more realistic. I mean, in a regimented, every day, you got to eat this. You got to do this way. Why? If you feel great, you only had one meal in the morning, and it's like almost time to go to sleep, 8 o'clock, whatever, whenever you go to 8 p.m., you only had one meal for an example in a day in the morning you got all kinds of energy you exercise and you're just not hungry why do you have to eat again if you don't want to I mean if you got no uh, competition what's I remember reading up on or heard that Herschel Walker all he had was one meal a day but um, I, and that's that's crazy in a way it's, you'd think but then again I don't think so I mean, everybody's system's different, you know? But, uh, yeah, let me know how you do, man. Thumbs up, thumbs down. But try it, I'm telling you. It'll work, I'll guarantee it to you. If you're a weight trainer, try eating raw before the event. Either raw, it's got to be all raw. Don't have cooked uh, beans or cooked veggies with the raw meat. It's only going to, you only could have the raw meat. So a half pound, one pound or however big you are, one and a half pound, two pounds, chow it down, and when your event comes along, I'll guarantee to you, you'll do more weight, like at least 10 pounds, or, well, depending on what it is, the legs, maybe you could do 20 pounds more, 
Um, I know on my bench pressing thing, I would do 10 pounds, and I did this more than once to see, but that's just me. To, for, so for validation purposes, I want you guys to do it and try. Let me know what you think. It ain't bullshit. Try it and let me know. Peace. Like, share, subscribe, man. Adios, folks.